Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I will be filming a wig review. I feel like I haven't done one in a while so I wanted to do one because my channel does consist of a lot of wig reviews. So today it's going to be for a brand new company. Now we can get into that right now. Sorry if I'm talking weird today guys, my throat just hurts so bad. So I have to be talking a little weird and drunk kind of. Okay, so the company I'm wig reviewing this wig for is for this company right here. And this is called Babala Hair. I think that's how you pronounce it. Babala Hair. And it came in this adorable package. I love packaging. It has cute leaves all around it and shininess. Whenever the packaging is good like this, it means the wig is probably going to be good too. And what it came with is a wig cap. I don't know. A comb. A cute comb. Most wig companies that are good quality will give you a comb. And that's basically it. So we can move straight on to the wig review. So obviously at first glance, it is a nice dirty blonde color with, I need my mirror right here, very minimal shine. Now I did get a chance to play with it a little bit and it is a bit tangled and it's not hard to comb out, but it did come slightly tangled a bit. So uh, that is one thing right there. And it is an ombre lace front synthetic wig. Now I'll go over the details right now. So this wig right here is called the Brown Ombre Wavy Synthetic Lace Front Wig and it goes for $99 on their website. This wig is 24 inches long which is a little too long for my liking but you can always cut it and I think that you can go, may even make it go down to 22 inches as it says right here on their website. The texture of this wig is wavy and it is 150% heavy, high temperature resistant silk and a lace front back weft glueless cap and when I looked in the wig it had two clips to clip on both sides. So basically that is it for the details. I'll show you guys the length of the wig. It's really long and I'm wearing a belly shirt right now. I'm sorry I didn't put high-waisted shorts on. I just didn't feel like it. I mean, I'm just being honest, but um, that's my apology for right now. So let me show you guys the length of the wig. Okay, so excuse the belly, but the length of the wig is down here. Well, it's actually good that my belly is showing because it goes past my belly button all the way to you know. And when I t turn it completely around, it is so low. It goes way below my back. I can't even show you guys, but I typically don't go for wigs this long just because I feel like it would look it looks more wig like to me, but I don't think this wig looks wig like. I'm just saying that the length personally like if I were to wear this out I wouldn't I would cut it because I don't like wigs this long my personal um, choice is something around right there so I might give it a little trim so let me show you guys the cap the top I mean so this is how it looks like whenever I do middle parts I usually hate doing a middle part whenever there's an ombre wig so I'll always split it Okay, let me zoom you guys in. So this is it. If you guys want a more natural look, feel free to cut some baby hairs. But this is how it looks like. You can see through. You can definitely put some concealer there to make it look like your scalp. And it's pretty sturdy. I cut the lace pretty close. But it's actually really sturdy. So now time for my favorite part is playing with it. So as you can see, I split it down the middle and I feel like it's kind of giving you that Beyonce type of look, which I'm not super crazy about on myself. Personally, I don't think I rock this look in particular, but I do look like a completely different person, which I like because whenever I, I don't want to look like a different person in my face, but what I like about wigs is how they can change. Well, actually I kind of like it in the middle part. I think I was judging it too quickly, but like I said, there is no synthetic shine, so this wig is very nice, but I would cut some baby hairs here at the top in case you do want to wear this wig out so it can look more natural. 
Okay, the second thing I did was kind of do, I don't feel like making a real braid, so I'm just going to rope it and do kind of like a fake braid because like I said, this wig does tangle a bit easy and when that happens, you want to just be as careful as possible. So I love this look right here. You can wear with a wig. It is definitely very festival. I love that a lot. Like I want to do a photo shoot in this. And I'm getting tangled vibes from this. I don't think her hair is ombre or anything, but I just think the length of it is giving me tangled vibes. And I like it. But like I said, I'm not super crazy about a, such a dark ombre. I was expecting it to be a little different, but I mean, what can I do? So now I'm going to see what else I can do with this wig. It's so long, I just, it's, I don't even really want to bother like doing something too crazy, but I think cute little space buns would be nice with this. Just really quick ones. Like, I'm not trying to do anything super... See, that's cute. I like that there's layers in this wig because then stuff like that will happen. And it just makes this wig look adorable. Like I said, I do definitely need baby hairs because this circular line is not working out. It's looking like <sighs> fake. So that's why you need to cut baby hairs. It's always very much recommended that when you get a lace front wig to cut baby hairs so now another thing I like to do is I do this in every single wig review I play around with different looks and I usually do the same type of looks or try to change it up but there's not much you can do with a lace front um, unless you get like those pre-made lace but I don't have wig glue on so the hair is kind of moving around but this actually you know without wig glue this wig actually sits really good on the top of your head which I like so like I said I wouldn't wear it like this because it just doesn't look as real and then my favorite which is tossing it over because that's usually what I like to do and it gives you a very sexy, like, Victoria's Secret bombshell type of look. This one right here I like. I think I will use it in a future video. I'm not going to tell you which one, but I'm excited. And that's the main reason why I got this specific color right here. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like this certain wig, I will give you a coupon code right here. Just use the coupon code Nicole. And that will give you 10% off. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next wig review. I wonder which color I will do next. I'm always doing blonde. I'm sorry, I need to stop. It's time to do a crazy color. So let me know which color you'd like to see next. And I will see you in the next wig review. Bye.